Hey guys, coming to you from the floor. We are once again horizontal. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video um, about animals and babies. And the reason why I wanted to make that video is because um, they are, to me, they're just, they're magical, magical beings. And to me, they are such a, um, they just, they lift up my spirits faster and easier than anything that I can ever come up with. And so, uh, today I had a pretty good day, uh, better than the other day. Uh, but I went down to a family, uh, shindig, uh, yesterday and today, and she takes care of, or, you know, the family member takes care of this little baby and he is just the sweetest nicest cutest baby you've ever seen and he's just always smiley and he hardly ever fusses and he never cries and like he's like the perfect baby um and uh I was able to hold him and talk to him and and play with him and um it just it just lifted my spirits up so much and then <laughs> You have my cat. Hello. Uh, my sister's cat, who uh, is keeping me company on the floor because I was trying to get some stuff done in my room and the pain level just got bad enough to where I'm like, okay, okay, I get it. I need to lie down. Um, and she has just, has not left me alone for a minute. She's been in my face and rubbing up on my toes and 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 giving me kisses and it's just been it, you know it really is so important to have kind of something to uh, cuddle with sometimes when you're having a bad day and unfortunately this past month uh, my cat left the house and never returned uh, and I had him for about a year you've probably seen him in my videos as being the really sweet black cat to my to the white cat so um, it really took the wind out of my sails and I was really uh, really emotional and I was not okay with the world and I was I was having mommy guilt as far as you know if I just done this if I just done that you know my cat would still be here and so it's been enough time to wear it's no longer that ragged hole in your chest of having lost an animal, but it also made me realize, hello, made me realize how much of a support my cat was to me in times of healing and in times of pain and, you know, uh, helping keep me company after my patches and, and keep me company when I'm not feeling good. and. Uh, I just I think it's so important I think if you're able to have an animal that uh, you know while being chronically ill that you have one because um, you know even though my cat is no longer here uh, my sister's cat has really kind of stepped up to the plate and has been keeping me company on the days where my pain's just out of control or I'm just not having a good day and um, just wanted to share with you guys how, you know, simple things like going on a walk and, you know, petting a, a stranger's dog or, you know, having the cat come snuggle with you when you're not feeling good or, uh, you know, being able to kind of get your baby fix if there is one available, uh, how much it really helps kind of your mental health and, and I've never been one to scoff at people who have you know like uh, things such as emotional support animals and I honestly w even without the title I think that um, animals are just so important to mental health and keeping perspective and they are so great on the days where you know you're feeling alone and you're feeling rough and in pain and they're just, they're magic. And so I just wanted to share with you guys my, my magical opinion of babies and furry animals. So, 
um, that's about it. And comment below what kind of animal you have, what their names are, their personalities, because I love anything and everything animals and babies both. So um, that's all I got for you. So I'll see you in the next video. What are you doing, you silly mama? What you doing, you silly mama? You're getting so big. Oh, I know, you need love too.